All right, we have another amazing way where you can ring in 2023. We're going to go to our next interview right now because we have the wonderful ladies from the I Love Guam organization. We have uh, Diane Prejean and we have Mika Caldwell, two friends of mine who have this wonderful program where we welcome Baby 2023. Now, ladies, half a day and, uh, and happy early New Year to the both of you. I know, I know you and your team are working very, very hard. Half the day, Jason, and Happy New Year to you, too. Well, almost. <laughs> uh, yeah, just about there. But, you know, I mean, this is an island tradition, you know, where we welcome the first baby born on United States soil. And, and I've been very, very honored for, I, I think it's what, how long have we been working together now, Mika? Like, what, like seven, eight years where I've been able to um, go out and and interview the parents of the first baby born on U.S. soil. It's such a huge um, privilege, you know, and and. As such, you know, part of the tradition that you guys have is the baby and the, the baby's family are very handsomely rewarded. Yes, yes, correct. Sorry, there's a lag. Yeah, no problem. Um, okay, but this year we're doing things like a little bit different because I know like usually on, um, on the 1st of January, right? Typically, the first baby born is maybe like, you know, within 10 seconds of, you know, of the ball dropping, as they say, like on, uh, on New Year's. But this year, we're actually, um, because of safety regulations and, you know, like viruses are still going around, we're going to do it a little bit differently, right, this year. So can you explain? Um, well, we're still, you know, we'll still be counting the, the first baby, which usually happens a couple seconds after the New Year rings in. Um, the thing that we're doing differently is that we, you know, unfortunately the baby's family can visit us at our office and, and, and pick up the gifts here, which actually works out better because it's usually truckloads of, of gifts that they have to bring home from the hospital. So I think this is much more convenient for them. <laughs> mm -hmm. And j just so people get a sense, uh, maybe Diane, if you can give us um, maybe just like a little bit of a rundown of the gifts that, uh, that the parents uh, will be receiving. Well... The, the family and the baby are going to be blessed with um, about a little bit over $10,000 worth of gifts. And it's amazing. So we, so far we have, this year we have 29 sponsors. So we're very thankful. We have a great um, business community. So it, we, the baby will receive a car seat, um, gift baskets, a year's supply of diapers, a year's supply of wipes, um, baby formula, they have things for mom. And if we move over a little bit, you can see some of the gifts here behind us. Um, and we have a little bit on both sides of us as well. So our room is filled with gifts right now. Yeah, the amount of just of gifts that are like literally showered upon, you know, the first baby born in, in the new year and, and the baby's family. I mean, of course, you know, we all wish the very best for, you know, a happy and healthy life. And the, the babies are always wonderful. But but the gifts, I mean, it usually takes you, like you said, like there's truckloads for the family to take home. I know for you guys, you bring like, what, two or three vans and it takes like, you know, your group of maybe 10 people, you know, maybe at least one or two trips up in GMH to, to bring the, um, to bring all those gifts up to the hospital room. So it's a lot of really, really good stuff. It really is. Mm -hmm. I think last year it took our, our the New Year's baby family three trips. <laughs> so it took them three wow. days. Well, well, the little baby's going to get some exercise and everything. We'll tell you what, we are just getting started with this interview. We're going to go to commercial break right now, but we're going to return with Diane and with Mika. And we're going to tell you more ways that we will welcome the first baby born on U.S. soil when the new year kicks off right here in the hotspot. So please stay tuned. All right, everybody, the hotspot continues and our Zoom call in the KUM new Zoom room continues as well. And we have once again, Diane and Mika from the I, I Love Guam organization. I love Guam too. I love Guam 24-7, 365, and we can't wait to welcome uh, the new, new baby, baby New Year, as we say, baby 2023. Um, and Mika, you know, this is a particularly interesting year because your organization has been doing this now for how long? So how, how, how old now is the very first baby that was honored? You know, so this will be our 19th year. So when I when I look back, um, you know, and I think about the first time we did this and, and, and the baby that, you know, we, we congratulated, um, this baby now is no longer a baby and is, all, is pretty much an adult. She will be 19 years old on January 1st. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I know, again, because, Diane, I've been covering this wonderful event for um, for several of those years in the 19 that you've been doing this, is 
Um, on certain occasions, you know, every, every few years, some of the parents that were previously honored for their baby, uh, they come back and they contribute gifts as well to this, this year's baby. Yes, yes. Our 2017 uh, baby girl, Kylie Ray Tessalona, she's very, they've been very consistent. So she just came here a couple of days ago to give her um, gift basket and she always gives us, she always, this is her gift basket. Yeah. Right here. She always includes a it. drawing for the baby. Wow. Yeah, so she's so cute. She turns six January 1st. You know what we've got to do? I mean, okay, let's hear it, KUM. We're totally willing to, like, work on this with you guys. We need to do something where we get, like, as many of the New Year's babies all together, like, in the same room and just, like, have a fiesta. And we'll, and we'll do an interview with it. That would be awesome. We oh, should do great. that. We'll okay. do that next year. Let's do that. Yes, absolutely. Okay, we're, to, we're, we're down. We're absolutely down. Okay. And, you know, and that, that's, a, that's a very special thing that bonds, you know, the, these families and and I mean, I mean, yeah, it is, you know, um, it is happenstance. And we, again, we all wish for the very best for the uh, for a healthy and, ha and happy baby. But this is a very remarkable thing. And also because where Guam is where America's Day begins, can't stress this enough. You are the first baby born on United States soil. I know every year when I put up, you know, uh, the Instagram posts and the Facebook pictures and, you know, write the web article and everything, people go nuts for this. So what has the feedback um, been like from your perspective? Um, well, you know, we, we always get very positive feedback. Um, you know, this is, this is, and this is an, this is a, an, an event that is not just an archway event, but really it's a community event. Um, so we get, you know, great responses from our, our, our sponsors, you know, who want to give. And, and like we said earlier, we get great responses from the, the past families. So, I mean, it really has become a tradition from us, uh, you know, it's become a tradition. Um, and it's just a, just a wonderful thing. I mean, it's just a, nice it's a nice way for the community to give back okay now i gotta ask because you know here on guam we love we love parties and you know competition is healthy we we believe this right so does anybody there ladies uh at your team do they say okay we're gonna make like little side bets and we say i'm betting the first baby's gonna be born on 12 <laughs> oh, oh five like 12 oh five not not 12 in five minutes five seconds after midnight does, does anybody kind of play like almost like closest to the wall no, but you know what? You, that, that's a great idea. I think we'll do that next year as well, considering next year will be our 20th anniversary. You know, we'll have a, a New Year's baby party and and, uh, and and a little bit of gambling on the side. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Like like I said, at, at KUM, we're willing to make that 20th anniversary something really, really special. So, you know, we'll we'll reach out to you guys. Uh, but, of course, after this year. So, uh, maybe, Mika, break down some of the logistics now about what it takes to put this program together and reach out to these organizations. Because I know there's a lot of companies that do this year after year. And, you know, it's a tradition for them as well and something they're very proud of. But uh, this is a big amount of work for you guys. Um, you know, my job is really, really easy because, you know, I sit at my desk and I don't make any of the phone calls. <laughs> but this wonderful lady here oh does my. all the work. So I know. Yeah, about, Diane. Maybe, yes, uh, thank you. So from about maybe a little before Thanksgiving or maybe early in November, um, you know, she starts stressing out a little bit and start making all the phone calls and, and you, know, you know, calling the, the past companies that we've worked with and, and new companies. Um, but I mean, as, as much as it is, it, it's a lot of work for her, but I think she gets such a positive response from the, the sponsors, you know, so it's not a, it's not like we have to go into the community to beg to for beg, people to yeah. help us. Um, you know, these businesses are, are, are very kind and, and very giving. Mm -hmm. So Diane, what, what is it like for you to, to be able to, I mean, like Mika said, there's a little bit of stress and everything like that, but I'm sure your heart is like so full. Like when you, when you actually see, you know, the presence presented to the family. <laughs> It is, it is. It's just, this is very stressful because, you know, we have to deal with Christmas and we also have to deal with the other portions of the business, including sales. But um, yeah, it's pretty stressful. I actually started in October, sending, sending out the emails in October. Some haven't responded until just last Friday, but um, it's just, I, the community on Guam is amazing. Very good. Yes. Very good. Okay. And now I know have you ladies have a I know you ladies that? have a ton of work to do before uh, before January 1st and everything, but final question is, um, if there are any individuals or maybe families that are watching us right now on YouTube or on Facebook and they say, you know, I didn't know that program existed, but, you know, my family would like to maybe contribute maybe a box of Pampers or some, you know, some baby wipes or, you know, maybe a um, like a little bottle or something like that. Anything counts, but are they able to do that as well? And how can they contact you guys? 
Sure, absolutely. Um, they can reach out to either one of us. You know, our office number is 647-5683. Um, and, and yeah, we're, you know, more than happy to take donations. And, and you know, the, to us, the more the merrier, the more that we can share, the better. Okay, Diana, last word is yours. Um, for someone who's been working working on this program and takes such a, a great deal of pride uh, in it, what is something that the community should know about, um, about what this means to you guys over there? Oh gosh, what does it mean? Uh, well, we're really blessed to have um, sponsors that continually participate and support this event. And um, I'm not sure, are we allowed to name some? <laughs> yeah, can we name sure. some of the sponsors? Yeah, yes? absolutely. Okay, well, Yes. Okay. Well, we have 29, but like <laughs> it, um, AK Toyota, Avis Rent-A-Car, Bank of Guam, um, The Daily Post, AB Risk Solutions, Burger King. AB Risk and Burger King, they seem to be co uh, in competition in regards to the size of their basket. So every year <laughs> it gets bigger and the AB Risk, they have different themes every year. This theme is this year we have to um, pick up the basket with one of our vans. So I'm not sure how the baby and the family are going to transport that, but- um, Well, there you go. We, yeah, Micronesian Brokers, Mobile Oil Guam, um, Pacific Grocers, SPPC, Triple J. There's just so many companies that continually support us. Well, of course, and you guys are running point on this. So we wanna wish um, each of you and each of your families and, and the entire team down there at I Love Guam and Archway, you know, the happiest of holidays. And, and thank you for making this a wonderful island tradition that everybody on Guam and all of our familia in the States, everybody's so proud of this. And we really can't wait to see who the first baby is in 2023. So thank you, ladies. Thank, well, thank you. you as well, Jason. And thank you for, you know, having us every year and, and, and getting the message out. It really means a lot to us. So happy new year okay. to, to you and your team. Yeah, this is one of my favorite times of the holiday. And so th thanks, thanks for reaching out. All right. Happy New Year to the both of you and we'll see you soon.